Ladies and gentlemen, you know my first guest from The Departed, Ted, and the Transformer movies. His latest movie is Mile 22. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Nice to see you again. Thanks for having me. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How's your summer been? It's going good. Yeah? It's going good, yeah. What do you do? What have you been doing for fun? What's your summertime jam? I, you know what? I've been training for a movie now. I'm waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's actually way past my bedtime right now. Oh. I'm waking up at 3, working out, doing all my prayers and all that stuff, and playing golf, running the golf course, trying to get in shape before, trying to get all that done before the kids and my wife wake up, which is not an easy thing to do. Wow. And then I start the rest of my day. I thought being a movie star was glamorous. I thought it was all just parties and boats yeah. and stuff for, like for that. For a lot of guys, it is. For the under, you know, the overachiever, you know, you got to get up a little early, you got to work a little bit harder. But I'm okay with that. You okay? I don't mind. I like working hard. Yes. Okay. It's paid life off is, so Life far. is suffering. No, you know what? No, no complaints. No complaints? No complaints. No complaints. How many kids? Four. Wow. Two boys and two girls. Nice. Nice. Two boys and two girls. Yeah, I Everything gotta... is balance. Yeah. Right. Okay. Recent headline in local Boston news right here. Okay. Mark Wahlberg seeking tough Boston mob guys for upcoming film. I haven't gotten a call, Mark. What's the, uh... <laughs> Did you lose my agent's number? What's... I didn't, but I actually, just looking at you now, I think you would make for the perfect white-collar criminal. <laughs> Mike, thank you so very much. So, you and I... Yes. In jail. You and me in jail. Together. I'm yep. asking you for financial advice. But Am then I, I all tatted up or anything like that? No, just the way you are. Glasses, <laughs> you're very square. Working in the library. But you actually are very smart. And we're going to pull off a Ponzi scheme when we get out of jail. Oh, I like it. All right, but I like then it. you decide. Because you're the muscle and I'm the brains. Listen, I know a lot of guys. <laughs> Well, you're the brains and no, the muscle, and I, I am the muscle I know a lot and, the, of guys, and the high body fat. You never, under, never underestimate anybody. I know a lot of guys, 125 pounds, that will beat the shit out of most big guys. But they are hopped up on drugs. So if we give you the right amount sure. of yeah. methamphetamine, you sure. probably do some serious damage. Give me damage. that stuff that the cops, like, tase them five times. It doesn't make a difference at all. That's, that's, that's what it, I'm that's talking about. That's my character about. hook right there. We're in. Here's why I'd be afraid to audition for your, for your Boston Mob movie, is that, as you know, the Boston accent is the hardest thing for an actor to pull off. People have famously shanked that one. Yes. Okay. I'm not going to name names, but yes, they have. <laughs> Some people have hey, wisely uh, we... avoided doing the accent. So they, they play... I'm from Boston, but they just talk like this? Yeah, they just pretty, talk pretty normal. Hi, I am from Boston. Yes. <laughs> How do you like them apples? <laughs> I've heard worse. You've heard worse? You've heard I've, worse? I've witnessed worse. Is there, like, a phrase? Is, like, the phrase that you could give me to be, like, a hook? Like, what do I have to do to sound like I'm from Boston? Or do I just scream, like, I hate the Yankees? What is it? <laughs> that always works. That always works? Now that we're in first place, you don't have to hate the Yankees. You can appreciate the Yankees. Because we're up 10 games right oh, now. Oh, you condescend. No disrespect. <laughs> I mean, Yankees, I think they have Making something like 27 championships. Go. It's not nothing to be worried about. You're still going to make the wild card. Relax, guys. <laughs> Speaking they have the casting. second best record in the league, and these guys are still complaining. Sp speaking of casting, you, you cast your mom yes. in, in the reality show uh, yes. Wahlburgers yeah. right here. Here's, here's, uh, here's some of the cast right there. There's, uh, there's you, there's your brother Paul, there's your mom Alma, there's your brother Donnie. Okay, which of the Wahlbergs get the biggest trailer? Uh, we, there's no trailers on this particular show, but my mother is the only one who gets a pay increase with every season. Uh, and she, she should, but you know what? She didn't want to do the show. Her and my brother Paul were like, absolutely not. They thought we were going to do some crazy, like, really negative, we fight all the time type of reality show. Yeah. I just wanted to build a show to promote the business, which yeah. it, it has done, because now we have 27 stores open. But now... Yeah, stores? we'll open another 10 this year. But, but now, she's constantly... If I just tell her, you know, I don't think we're going to do another season, it's just, like, dead silence. <laughs> and then it's like, well, what, what am I going to do? <laughs> what, what, where am I going to get money? I'm like, you're doing okay, Mom. Don't worry about it. But yeah, she is, uh, she's actually, you know, it's given her, it's actually given her a lot of joy. And now, she's famous on her own. So sure. she's not living in my brother's shadow anymore. 
Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't need you anymore. <laughs> no. She's going to cut you guys loose. She's put me in my place many a time. Has she put you in your place recently? Oh, you know, not too recently, but the worst and the most embarrassing was I brought her out. She doesn't fly anymore, but I brought her out to L.A. with my parish priest, Father Flavin. We go to this event. She wants to leave a little bit early, so I put her in the car with Father Flavin. They drive home. The limo driver gets, like, lost for, like, five minutes. All of a sudden, I walk in the door, and she's like, you I'm like, what the hell? She's like, who the do you think you are? I'm like, what? You're not a movie star. You're nothing. I'm like, what happened? She's like, we got lost. I said, you were in a limousine with the priest. What, what was the problem? But was since the, then... Wait, was the priest with there while she was f bombing? Oh, yeah, with the biggest <laughs> eating grin you've ever seen. <laughs> Waiting for me to send her to bed so we could drink a bottle of wine and, and have some laughs. Sure. He drops more F-bombs than me, only on the golf course. Oh, really? But, yeah. Have you thought about casting your mom as a tough Boston mob guy for the upcoming film? Because she sounds basing, tough. I am basing my character on my mother. Oh, mom? Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, now, uh, in case... This is... I find this uh, fascinating. I gotta get to the, the bottom of this next one. In case... Uh, the, the, the movie career, uh, the producing career, uh, the, the, the burger joints. Uh, in case that all goes south, you've got a backup plan now, because I understand that you have you've bought a Chevy dealership in Columbus, Ohio. Yes. Are you, are you planning to go into the witness relocation program? Why, 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 why Columbus? I know why Chevy. Chevy makes a fine vehicle. They sponsor us, right? Yes, they make a fine vehicle. The best. The best. Oh, my the God. Best. One of yeah. the great American brands of all time. Of course. Listen, I've always been a lover of cars. I drove a tow truck. I worked as a mechanic. I used to do oil changes, tune-ups. I love the automobile industry, something that I always wanted to be in. Okay. I love being in Columbus. We're about to open a Wahlburgers there. We're already in Cleveland. And we have the best deals. Now, I know... <laughs> Let me okay. just explain something. To you. All right, you got the best deals. But listen, I tell you what I want. Okay, you see, uh, put me in a Chevy Silverado right. 1500. Okay, Mark now, Walker. now, Come on. you say, sell me. You say you want that, but I've sessed you out the second you walked in. You're not going to buy a new car for each one of the band at the end of the season. You're looking for a used Equinox LT, <laughs> one owner, low miles, maybe really, fourteen thousand Chevy miles. Chevy Equinox. Perfect Carfax. What kind but you of know what I'm what's, throw the in? what's the torque? What's the torque? Well, first on of all, let me Chevy tell you Equinox. what I'm going to throw in. I'm going to throw in an OnStar navigation package. Hold on. Heated seats, <laughs> aluminum wheels, maybe an XM radio, remote start, and if you're lucky, I'll throw in just for you a rear backup camera. Now, Whoa, wait, hold on. Wait a second. Hold on. Wait a second. Market-based price is going to be standard now. Not these days. Twenty thousand one hundred ninety-four dollars is the market-based price. Okay, I know that because I do the research, so you don't have to. What I'm going to do for you today, Mr. Colbert? Listen, hold on. One thousand down. No, one thousand down. Two hundred forty-nine a month for eighty-four months, and I guarantee you, I will throw in a fifty-dollar gift certificate for a participating Wahlburgers in your area. And I'll throw in some mud flaps and tinted windows if you make a purchase at Wahlburgers for $49 or more. Do we have a deal? Do we have a deal? It's a deal. It's a deal. It's a deal. I'll get you guys a car. I'll get you guys a car. It's a deal. That's why I'm in the car business. Let me just add, I want to go back to one of the things you just said right yes. there, because it's a hell of a sales job. Mud flaps or the tinted windows? Mud flaps and windows. You said at participating Wahlburgers. <laughs> are you telling me that there are some Wahlburgers, and you being Mark Wahlberg, there are some Wahlburgers that are not willing to participate <laughs> in this promotion from Mark Wahlberg's Chevy dealership in Columbus, Ohio? I would say that it's definitely a limited offer, <laughs> limited time, so I'd have to figure uh, out uh, -huh. uh, you better get it by tomorrow. Okay. okay. All right. Well, you're going to do fine at that dealership. You're going to do real fine. Um, uh, but seriously, I do want a Silverado. A Chevy Silverado. Yes, fantastic it's vehicle. An incredible vehicle. Um, now, the new movie is Mile 22. Yes. Will I understand this movie if I haven't seen Miles 1 through 21? <laughs> You will, absolutely. You know, it's one of those great... Pete Berg and I, we've made three movies all based on real-life tragedies. We wanted to have our version of fun. Mm -hmm. So we created a great character-driven action movie that once the action starts, we never let up. Things blow up but, real good. We had Ronda Rousey on for this, and oh. she had a clip, and boom, you know? You don't mess with Ronda Rousey. No, but you know no, what's no. great about Ronda? Obviously, everybody expects her to kick a lot of ass in the movie. 
her dramatic performance is fantastic. She's going to have a great career ahead of her. She's really smart in the choices that she's making. But this movie is not what you expect. In a summer filled with sequels, you're getting something original, really smart, and a twist that you'll never expect. Normally, the good guys win. I don't want to say anything, but you know, you're going to want to see more. <laughs> you're going to want to see another one. Well, uh, we have, do you know what's happening in this clip here? I have no idea, but let's see it. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> Father, we're surrounded. Need help? After that explosion, you know what they're gonna need? They're gonna need a new Chevy. That's what they're gonna need. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, Mark, good to see you again. Thank you very much. Sir. Happy Thanks summer. Congratulations on the dealership. Mile 22 is in theaters this Friday. Mark Wahlberg, everybody.